July or January 1942. Uh, I forgot something. CCP had two zones. Recruitment room, two or less failed. All right. Netherlands turn. Um, they are going to build a coal, an infantry. Actually, that infantry is just regular infantry. It's not a colonial. So they need five bucks plus for the uh, for the battle cruiser that they're going to move forward. There they go. There we go. Or heavy cruiser, whatever you want to call it. And they need six dollars for the um, shipyard, which is one turn away from placing, so it's placed this turn. And they're just going to build an infantry in their factory. Nothing too spectacular. So, we're going to put a dude here. We're going to take the construction thing off. That way they can build that thing here. Replace that thing here. And they've moved the cruiser forward. And I don't really know what else to do with the Netherlands. They're still a neutral country, so they got nothing going on. They're not doing anything. So they're done. Um, all right. Um, Australia is going to save four bucks and move forward. It's it's um, like carrier, so I'm just going to move that forward while we're here. I know that happens at the end of the turn, but it doesn't affect the turn at all. Um, this pack of dudes is going to go one, two. And Australia is a little bit nervous. It's going to lose some troops. So it would drop these guys off here in Malay. And then this transport here is going to come over back here. Um, let's see what else would we do here. If you were the British, you would probably do the same thing I'm about to do here, which is move these guys all together. Let's chip that out a little neater. <clears throat> And then you would probably use these transports and scoop these dudes up. Moving the transports up here. And you place these four dudes in there. So I'm just going to grab, you know, let's throw them down like this. Two of these. And let's put two more on here. So there we go. Kind of want to keep track of where this stuff came from. That way I know what's going on. All right, so two FEC dudes and whatnot. And just to be on the safe side, we'd probably transport this back here to protect those trannies. Uh, that's one, two, three. And we'll leave this to escort on escort. Actually, we don't need that escort on escort. Um, no, I'm going to leave it here just in case because... Uh, it's unlikely the Germans are going to put... <laughs> nah, we don't need that escort. We'll just throw that guy back here. There's nothing to escort from. And that dude there, we can take him off of escort too, probably. Ah, uh, no, just in case. You never know when the Japanese do something crazy. All right, uh, let's see. What else are we going to do here? I don't really know what to do with the British because they have so little money. So a little money. Um, all right. We're going to go up here. <clears throat> okay, yeah, you can see everything. Perfect. Uh, we're going to do a non-combat move. And we're going to do the exact opposite of what we did last time. We're going to move this transport. One, scoop, two, three, and that's from a Naval base and drop the dude down here. We're going to rail move one of these two dudes up to here. 
Uh, we probably don't want to leave that in range of some German planes or as many German planes. So we can go one, two, slap them down here. We're going to need to get this, uh, this things are moving up here. Oh, there we go. Whatever. Close enough. All right. Um, we are going to do a convoy on this side for the Ita against the Italians, though. This British sub is going to convoy the Mediterranean line that carries a dollar for the Italians. The Italians have no no escorts on that line. So, oh, and the commander is going to come along and join the Navy. He should have come along the first time. So we're just going to grab two D6s here. We're going to do... Uh, red for the British and black for the Italians. The British are plus two. So red is British plus two. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Four and five. They didn't lose any money. Never mind. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Place units. Over here, we have um, a tech roll. Purchased by the FEC, along with three mechs, and the regular British are going to buy three infantry and a mechana uh, and a three infantry and a transport. So the mechs are going to get placed with that mech right there. So just to make life easy, we're going to just drop a green one in here, and we're going to take these three off. And we're going to drop a green one underneath that tank, too. All right. There we go. It's a little easier to read this way. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what else to do with the British. So we're going to place some units for the British. And then I'm going to do the tech roll last because it's for wartime economy and it doesn't, and I'll be rolling their economy. Uh, wartime economy roll if they get one so what we're going to do is we're going to use this factory up here since those factories are too damaged and i don't want to waste the money since we don't have a lot of money we're going to drop a transport out here take that guy off of escort too by the way no way he he will stop movement and we're going to throw down a pair of dudes to be transported by the transport and we're going to take this last dude and we're going to put him in uh, South Africa. All right. I don't really know what else to do with my stuff. The Germans don't have any subs except for that one coastal sub, so we don't need as many escorts. Um, the escorts on this line are just in case the Japanese get involved or the Russians. Who knows with Russia right now? Um... Yeah, anything could happen with Russia right now, and I, I'm a little bit nervous. And because nervous, Russia could go anyway, anyway at once. All right. Um, so now all we got to do is buy a tech roll. So or do a tech roll, and it's going to be for wartime economy for the British. So wartime economy, they're one away. They need a seven. Let's see what they can get. Seven or less. Eleven. Perfect. The British really, really needed that. All right. There we go. So the British have wartime economy. Yeah, they already got the shipyards and the strategic rockets. Maybe, maybe we can make some money here. Now, if you're Britain, you're going to be hoping that you roll a pair of sixes, but we'll see what we get here. Seven. Seven bucks isn't bad. Um, so Britain's got 23 bucks, FEC's got 14, and Australia's got seven. They haven't actually really lost in, I think they lost one total over what they started with versus what they've gained. Oh, shit. I forgot. I was doing all this and I forgot about this. Um, damn it. Uh, 
I just remembered that the British made money here. Um, yeah, it's been about half a day since this happened, and I totally forgot about the the uh, Turkish troops. Um, well, all right. Um, if you were playing against me and you went, oh shit, I forgot about them, I'd give you a gimme. So, since I'm trying to play everybody at the same time, I'm going to give myself a gimme. And we're going to do this. We're going to attack here. I know it's worth nothing. But these guys can't blitz. So they're going to be stuck behind me. And then I get to move. And then they're going to take one. They can never blitz behind me. So, we'll do that. And we will also take this destroyer here and we will attack... Oh, I can't f attack subs, can I? Uh, this destroyer is stuck here. And I can't move into that season without starting a battle. Can't move there without having a battle. Can't move there without having a battle. You know what? Let's move. Oh, God. I'd rather be attacking. Eh, it doesn't matter where I go. If I stay here, that's out of their way. They got to do a come and chase me down. So we're just going to leave that there. We're just going to roll that one up there. So that is uh, into mountains, a cavalry, two infantry, and an artillery. So we're just going to say that. Uh, let's get that chip out of there. These two are paired. And these two are not. All right, sound fair. Now let's find some dice. All right, so we're going to be uh, a first strike at two, and a German first strike at three back. So um, Germans at three back. That's a hit, and. Uh, British at two, an attack, that's a hit. So both sides got a first strike attack that was successful. That You don't see that very often. Um, uh, it was worth it just for that. So these attack at two, these attack at one. So we're going to lose one of these guys and... Uh, they don't get to shoot, so it has to be the infantry. These artillery already shot. All right, so now we're going to have one at two, paired with the infant, uh, artillery, so it's plus one, and a two at two, basically. So the British attack with two at two, and this will be the end of the round. Nothing. All right. Um, let's do... Oh, I got three at two. Let's do three at two. Uh, nothing. And one three. Nothing for the Germans. Two. Oh, we got a two. So the British got a hit on round three. And I miss. Alright, so there we go. It's worth no money. But like I was saying, it's mountain, so you can't blitz through it. So this stuff is always gonna be one step behind me. And maybe I can give the French a buck or take this bonus away from the Germans. Or who knows what. Just be disruptive so that this these troops don't go straight to, Ky uh, to Cairo and then straight on down to that stuff. Which I have a suspicion they may do. Unless they're going for the Russians that way. I'm not even sure what they're doing there. It seems kind of bizarre. Anyway. Okay. So that is the British turn. Let's throw that down. There's no income change. It's worth nothing. But it's worth everything. Because it's two units the Germans don't have to attack me later on. Alright, so. Um, what did I do? I rolled a seven. Wartime economy. So I'm going to leave that in front. Because that can be split up between them all. Um, 
There's seven, plus they save four for Australia. Um, 14, I believe it was, for the uh, FEC, yeah. And we've got 23. Hmm. 23, but they saved two, so we're going to give them 25. Because I'm running out of ones here. 25. And I'm running out of fives, too. Take that from the Australians, so we have some change in the bank. All right, so the final tally for income is we save four plus seven for 11, 14, 25 because they saved two, and um, there's going to be seven bonus of wartime economy. And they can split it up this way, that way, that way, or they can share it around however they want, which is why it's going to be sitting on front here. All right, and that is that for the turn of the British. So they didn't do much, but they did a little bit anyway. They did a little bit. Um, the French are so exciting. I'm not even going to stop the map here. Uh, stop the, the filming. Uh, the French are going to do spend six bucks. They're going to buy a colonial and a tech roll. And the tech roll is for wartime economy as well. So since we got this right here, French wartime economy, fail. Okay. Now, I forgot to do some combat moves as France last time. We got these two places here that are Spanish that the Germans control. So this guy's going to wander in there and take that spot. This guy's going to wander in there and take that spot. They're both worth nothing. But the Germans could use those roundels back. And it always feels great as France at this point in the game. To put some of these down. <clears throat> and then we're going to build that colonial. We're probably going to put them over here with the commander again. Alright. So that's that turn. Um, not all that much excitement going on. But it's... Whatever is happening there is happening. Um, those guys are almost ready for a British transport maybe to show up and scoop them up. Yeah, that might be interesting. We'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, so that is the French turn. No income changes. British turn's done. I'm going to stop here and we're going to do the Italian turn. All right, folks, it's the Italian turn. They're going to be a bit busy here. I'm just going to show their purchases first. Uh, so the Italians are buying a tech roll. They're also going to be buying a tactical, completing their battleship on the, uh, uh, the uh, facilities and production chart. And they're going to be building a mech and a tank. And... Um, that's it for their purchases. They have no other money. All right. Now, there's going to be a few attacks. Oh, I did the British convoy here already. I'm going to take that off. Oops. <clears throat> so, the Italians are going to convoy this line twice. Once here and once over here. Now, this is going to get a little bit complicated because there was a transport that lived over there. There was a transport that lived over here. They both either started from or moved to here first, scooped up two guys each and dropped them off in here. One dropped off two of these guys and one dropped off one here and one here in, what is that, Crete? Yeah, Crete. Crete's a no contest, so we're just going to do that. But we don't want to give the British anywhere to land. And Malta, I don't really want to do because it's got this fort and it's only got one militia. But one of the, you have two or twice as many capital ships in the Mediterranean as the enemy. Or you own Cairo, or sorry, the Suez Canal, Cairo, Malta, and Gibraltar. And one of those two options may be easier for me. Than the other 
It may be easier, instead of killing all their ships, to take one of these places, one of these three. So I'm going to start off the game with as many of them as I can. So we're doing an amphibious assault with one marine and two regular infantry. We're going to get a bombard of... Uh, we can throw one extra bombardment in there. They don't really need the cruiser over there. So we're going to get a bombardment of three here. With one battleship and two cruisers. Oh, we also have a battle up there in the sea against that. It's going to be a tactical and two fighters. A uh, destroyer and a torpedo boat destroyer versus a destroyer. I probably, I just need one hit here. So, yeah. Let's give them the tactical. I'll make it easier rolling. All right. I can, because this fort shoots twice at five, right? So I'm hoping it doesn't take out all these guys. Because if that's the case, then the fort's still there. And I still have to land on it and attack the fort again. That's going to bite, especially if it's, <laughs> but, you know, anyway, um, so those are my actions here. I've got uh, two convoys, a landing, and then another fight over there. So actually, in the third one right there. There we go. So, um, let's start with the convoys first, and then just to remind you folks, um, there's already been one dollar taken off the British, so they only have five dollars left, and then there's two bucks off the French to remove. So let's see what happens in all this crazy rolling. And we got a pair of dice here. So we're gonna make the uh, the Italians uh, black. And they're going to be plus two on this one. And there's one escort over here that's making them plus one. So black is two, plus two, red is plus one. So six minus two is four. So we're going to take four more bucks off the British. We'll just leave that as a four. Now I'm going to do that again. Should have brought my, all my dice here. I did with that again. Only, um, it's going to be plus one versus plus one because the uh, coastal sub is only plus one. Ooh, and there's no change. The red is higher than the attack. The defender is higher than the attacker. So no loss. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fiver off the British since I just removed four. And I'm going to give them this buck back. There we go. The British went from 25 to 21 already. All right, um, yeah, and at the end of the turn, I guess there's nobody else that can do it to them anymore, so this is good. Um, this one in here, oh, I forgot all my Italian roundels. Damn it, I knew I was forgetting something. Um, we'll leave that one from now, and we're going to do the Malta attack. I'm just trying to try and see if I can. Yeah, you can still see it on the corner of the map there. So we're going to have two battleships bombard at four. Or one battleship at four. That's a hit. And there's no other units to shoot. So this militia is just done. So now the hard part is, is that fort going to get two shots at five successfully? Hopefully not. Oh. So it did get one, but it missed on the other one. So I'm going to lose the Marine. Which kind of bites, but whatever. As a result of uh, losing the fort, we're going to end up losing this. Or when they lose the land, they lose the fort. So we're going to have these two guys land successfully there. We're going to have these two guys, that guy land successfully there. So the only thing left to do is we got this little fight here. So we've got uh, two fighters at six, a destroyer at four, and a torpedo boat destroyer at two. So two at six, one hit, that's all we needed. And one at four back, and it's a miss. So the British Navy in the med 
as a gain being eliminated. So there we go. And Crete's worth nothing. And Malta is worth nothing, but it is potentially a victory point for the Italians. So just get that out of the way. Get this junk out of the way. All right. It's a whole bunch of dead stuff. Um, yeah. So I just need to get a couple of roundels for those two islands there. The British now own nothing inside the med which is the way it should be only the access on something inside the med except for um spanish morocco and this french weirdness going on there and uh, that little cluster of guys that the turkish that joined the british empire or joined the fight with the british empire against the germans and italians and that's it so they did not go up any income, but they do get to roll um, wartime economy. Here, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take a peek over here. This battleship gets placed, so we're gonna just throw that over here. Um, let me double check. I want to make sure I don't have any non-combat moves to do first before I start placing units. So these guys have moved in combat. This guy's moved in combat. This guy has not moved. So he's going to wander up here. He's going to grab two infantry. <clears throat> and he's going to come on down here and he's going to drop him off right there. Actually, he's going to drop him off right there. Yeah, that's good enough. Got them off right there. And just to be dinks to those those dudes up there, we're going to give them a place where they can feel like they're going to make some money. And then we're going to take it back, I think. That'd be funny. No, we're going to move to the place it's worth two. There we go. Let's see if they, let's see if they split up or something. <laughs> Yeah, should be entertaining. Anyhow, um, yeah, man, I wish I'd noticed that. I could have taken that buck from the British and given it to the Italians. Oh well, um, non-combat moves. Otherwise, I don't really have anything. I'm just gonna land all these aircraft back over here again. I'm going to put this dude up here where he should be on top of that ship. And we're going to place a tank and a mech along with a battleship. That's two capital ships in the med, so not too bad. And a tactical bomber up there. Ooh, yes. They haven't rolled their, um, their, their uh, improved shipyards roll yet. I need a six or higher. Or sorry, a seven or higher. Eight. That'll work. I'll always take an eight when I'm rolling for seven. So for shipyards, they're now on stage two for the Italians. So two more rolls and they can build cheap ships. So at least still at third, uh, 14. They didn't go up or down anything. Um, yeah. Still 14. So they're going to collect their 14 and they're going to do their um, wartime economy roll. I don't think I did that yet. Yeah. So wartime economy. Three bucks. All right. So I collect 14 plus three, which would be. There we go. I do have some change. Okay. Which would be 15. And 17. And then they collect six as a bonus. So they're actually down five bucks from what they had last time. And they collect six in bonus income. Gibraltar, Monomy Warships, and um, the Suez or Cairo. All right, that is the Italian turn in completion. And next we have the US 
and mm -hmm. the American turn. They are going to move up two Iowa class battleships and one carrier. That's why I have this sitting on there. So I knew it was only half of the carrier instead of both carriers. Um, they're going to build two elite Marines. They're going to do five tech rolls and they're going to save a buck. And the KMT, they have four bucks. So they're going to just build uh, two um, militia. Um, KMT have nothing to really attack. They could attack these guys or those guys. But would you risk it? You're just hoping that you can kind of slow down the Japanese. So what the KMT are probably going to do, because you're not going to be able to successfully take anything worth money, because that's worth nothing, that's worth nothing, that's worth nothing. The only thing they border that has any money in it, it's got all these troops, so they're not going to do that. So what they're going to do is put two militia down on there and turtle. All right. And that would be the end of the KMT turn. They now collect $1. And a bonus for the Burma Road. So the KMT are complete for January 42. They've got nothing else to do. Um, while we're here, let's... Um, so two Iowa-class battleships. And one fleet carrier. There's a lot of stuff moving forward on that map thing. And these two elite marines are going to get placed. Um, let's just put them all. Yeah, you know what? I don't even care. We're just going to put them in New York. There we go. Done. Uh, I don't know what side they're going to be needed on. Man, it's not looking good for the allies right now. Um, so we got five tech rolls. And surprise, it's going to be the same five have been rolling for the Americans for a while. So it's going to be the four they need for their um, for their victory point, and then improve shipyards. And we're going to reverse the order: shipyards first, seven or higher. All right. Um, strategic rockets, nine or higher. Huh. But they got a nine. They got rockets. Um, we're going to do long range aircraft. They're one away. They need a seven. Nope. Um, heavy bombers. They need an eight. And then they got them. No, look at that. They got heavy bombers as well. And jet aircraft. They're only on stage one. And they got that one too. So they got a few this time. So they were successful in reverse order on jet, jet aircraft, um, heavy bombers, and strategic rockets. They failed that one, and they failed this one again. It's almost not worth rolling it. We're, we're starting to run out of turns here. Um, yeah, man, it's crazy how long I'm managing to get the... The Axis are managing to keep the Americans out. Um, oh yeah, the Americans also need to do an income increase roll. So hopefully they can actually get a high roll, kind of like these techs. Nice 12 would be great. They're at 37 right now. 11. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue. So from 11, they're gonna go to 48 or 37. They're gonna jump up to 38 or 48 tongue tied or something so from 37 to 48 up 11 they're getting awful close they're about to turn if they can do that again they're one or two turns away they're two turns away if they can do that twice all right so that is the american turn and the kmt turn uh so the americans are going to collect their 48 dollars and they're gonna end it in the turn here enjoy